Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Hello, hello, hello. This is Nikki. Thank you for joining me for a reading. Okay. The person on your mind, what do they want to say? What are they thinking about saying to you? Retreat, interference, acceptance, and passion. Oh, my angel fell. Fallen angel. The fallen angel. All right. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. An, ex an external party inter in, uh, intruded on this relationship. And everything happens for a reason. Try something you've never done before. I feel like this person, when they met you, you were totally different than anything they experienced before in their life. And I feel like they maybe scared them a little bit. And they felt they didn't feel comfortable with you, not because they didn't want to be with you or they weren't interested. Hell yeah, they were. You showed them a passion that they never experienced, they never seen before, they've never felt before. But I feel like whoever they were talking to about you and their connection kind of like put a put put a um like put a hold on a chokehold on the relationship moving forward. This person possibly talked them out of the connection with you. Well, you don't need to be with Virgo and, and they're not good for you. you. You always told me that you don't want to date a Virgo because Virgo this and Virgo's that, whatever, whatever. Maybe they had a bad situation or a bad connection with the Virgo. So now they're taking off what they went through with it, with a, their past Virgo, putting it onto the person you were with. And your person digs you. They really do, do like you. They really did like you. But they let what other people were saying undercut their true, truest feelings for you and they got scared they just accepted what they said especially if you all had some sort of argument early on in the connection and they said i'm done no nah, we ain't gonna go through this they were just afraid i have play hard and i have awakening find time to laugh goof off and enjoy each other which you did you had a good time with one another someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation you're at a higher level of love um than than this person was and is at this point in time but y'all laughed good together y'all had a good time together and they helped you they helped you let go of some things in your life they helped you you know they really did you were talking to him or her and they helped you get through some things you hadn't gotten through you haven't dealt with or you hadn't got through in a long long time radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go some distance may help bring clarity. So they told you, I need some time to think about this. This is moving too fast. I didn't expect it to move too fast. I'm coming back. I really enjoy your company, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. Unhealed wounds are blocking movement forward. They've got some healing to do from a past connection that they were in. Okay. They have to find this healing. Now, this person said they were going to come back and I believe them. I'm just saying. You know, I believe them. They said that they need some time. I need to think about this. I don't want to rush this. I really like you, Virgo, but let's take our time. What's going on in this person's mind? Thinking about you. Thinking about your scary stuff, Virgo. What is this person thinking about when it comes to you, reaching out to you? What's going on in their lives that's preventing this connection to become solidified? Retreat. Time spent alone. Reflect on past and current situations. We just had a card here that said that. You know, so I, I do feel that they're taking their time. You know, yeah, that's one of the first parts that came out. They backed out for a reason. It's not you. It's them. And don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. It's not about you. It's about them. And it's about the stuff that they've been talking to about you and them to somebody they know. So that kind of shocked them a little bit more. You know, so they are backing off because they don't want to, um, they need to heal. They need to find whatever's going on with them and fix it, you know, because they really do think that you are a good person. They think that you are a good catch and they want to get to know you. But I feel like they, they are, are, are being standoffish at the moment. Someone with a heavy influence from a past life is with you. And that's why the, inten well, that's why the intensity is there. Both of you all share this intensity. Both of you all share this familiarity with one another. You, you just feel right. It, it just feels right with, with, with you and him or you and her. But they back down. Either they back down or you back down. Maybe they're watching this Virgo reason to see why did Virgo back away from me? What's going on when Virgo's here to make them leave me alone? I have acceptance. Acceptance in current situations work through 
issues gracefully. Okay. So I don't know. I just feel like are well, we going to keep getting the same repeating cards here? Everything happens for a reason. Accept past current situations and work through uh, issues gracefully. All right. So um, I feel like they want you to believe them and understand that, that it's not about another man. It's not about another woman. It's about them accepting who they are at this point in time in their life. They're not ready for a true connection because you are the real deal. Holy field. They know this. Let me back up. It's moving too fast. I like you a little bit too much. So soon. Let me stop for a minute. Let me take a breath. Let me come back down to my senses because you got me all over the place right now. Okay. But they feel like they know you. You feel comfortable to each other. Self-awareness. Tapping into your higher self, questioning routines and patterns. Yes. And they, they, they told you. That's why I feel like um, they, that's why I feel like they told you that they, they want to take some time. They want to step back. Okay. I feel like this is moving too fast. Just give me a break. Okay. I'm not breaking from you. It's not you. It's me. It's everything to do with me. I'm very, very self-aware of what I need to do right now. I need to calm down. I need to have a conversation with my higher self so I can fix what's going on in my life. So I can be prepared to be with a man like you or a woman like you. Solving those inner conflicts with others and healing past trauma. That's what they're doing. Because they don't want these cycles to re cycles of bad or negative relationships to hold them back. Okay. They want to be with somebody like you. Okay. And, and they're, they're communicating this with you. They, you are everything. You mean everything to this person already. And I feel like they think very highly of you, which is why they're saying, I need some time. Okay, Virgo, let's see. Where is this connection headed when they come back? If they come back? Are they coming back to you? Are they coming back to you, Virgo? Are they coming back to Virgo? The Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment. Hell yeah, they're coming back. Why don't they? I got lovers. Yes. Hell yeah, I'm coming back like, yeah, you gonna leave me here hanging? What the hell going on? What's going on, Clear Cletus? You coming back to me or what? Hell yeah, I'm coming back. I told you I was coming back. I just needed a break. You were always mine. When I, from the first moment I met you, I knew you were mine. And I'm coming back. Keep those arms wide open for me. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Yes, yes, yes. I have the four of wands and I got the queen of wands. You just be ready when they come. Just be ready when they come. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Swords. They have a lot to offer. They have a lot to offer. They're going to have a lot to offer. Okay, be, just be a little bit patient. I'm not going to tell you to wait on this person forever. Okay? Don't stop doing what you're doing. You keep on living your life. They're coming. You may be having some issues with your eyes. Somebody's maybe having some issues with their eyes. Maybe you need some new contacts. Maybe you got some allergies going on. Maybe you got something stuck in your eye. Yeah, this person is definitely in, in it. I feel like their favorite color is purple. Could be yours or theirs. They may love animals or you may love animals. That's something that you all have in common. I hear that song by Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown. We've got something in common. You have a lot in common with this person. I just say be patient. If you're not openly dating anybody, whether you are or not, they definitely want to connect with you. Three of Pentacles. And I feel like that that's a lot that you all are going to show each other. But whatever's going on with him, wherever kind of like scared him or her down, give them time to get over this. They may just be a little nervous because they're constantly listening to what other people are saying about the Virgo. Okay. So uh, just about the Virgo in general, it's, it's not you personally, but, you know, and even that, let this person get through barriers, whatever's holding them back, you know. I just think that they just need a little bit more time. You just came into their life at an inopportune time. So it's not like they don't want you. It's not like they're not interested. They did. You really, really do. But just give this person some space. Let them come back. Uh, hey, I can't tell you how long to, to chill out and wait. I won't say wait for them, but they will be back. They just need a little, a little break. Okay. If they stop listening to people, what they're saying, and, and stop scaring them because your connection is so deep 
then they'll be okay. Stop listening to everybody. This is between me and you. Ain't got shit to do with your sister, your brother, your auntie, your cousin, your best friend. This is us. This is us. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let it flow. Let it flow. Is that Tony Braxton from um, Waiting to Excel? I put in the comments. Don't nobody want no two-time loser. No, you don't. And they don't want a two-time loser either. Take your time. Well, allow this situation to unfold naturally. Let this person do what they need to do to clear their head. Okay? So they can come back full force for you. Okay? Engagement. Your uh, love life is ascending to a higher level of a commitment. Yeah. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You don't have to wait from this person for this person for a long period of time. Maybe you already walked away from him or her. Like, I don't deal, I don't need this shit. I'm you done left me. You didn't retreat it. You didn't already told me that you need some time to recharge your batteries. You need the time, some time to do what you got to do. But look. Reconciliation. They're coming back. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I just needed a break. I just need a I just see 11, or I just saw 11, 11, I see 11, 17. But someone from your past is returning to your life. They're coming back. And I feel like this is going to be someone who you could spend a lot of years with. You could even marry this person because we do have the engagement card here. Okay. Attraction. They, they still like you. They still are very much attracted to you. Great love is worth taking the steps you're being guided to take. They, they can't get you out of their mind. They think about you all the time, day and night. You're, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So they like you, okay? They were attracted to you from the moment they saw you. Hockey parent, don't sweat the small stuff. Maybe they love key sweat. Okay, Maybe they can sing like key sweat. Oh, I hope not. I just heard I hope not in my head. move yeah it's, it's going to move you too closer you got to give this person time to come into themselves to get to know themselves to be recommitted to themselves all over again and then you're going to have a you're going to have this bind this that's going to tie you two together because your hands are not quite ready to be tied yet okay it's not quite ready yet this energy is not quite ready yet but it will be okay Sadness and isolation, they backed up for a minute. There's some things that they have to heal on their end so they can show you them their true selves, so they can show you who they are, so they can show you who they have become and who they will be. Let them work on what they're going through, that dark energy, that isolation, that sadness that's pulling them down. Let them heal themselves. And while they're healing themselves, if you're not healed completely, heal yourself too, okay? let them heal and then they're going to open up okay but right now you are uh, they've opened up some some dark fears for you like man we already started this and and he or he she has already backed away and and telling me that they need to take a break and we just started what the hell am i gonna do i really like this woman or i really dig this dude what's going on they're gonna open up to you but i feel like they've already said they've already been honest with you and said look um, I just need some time, you know, let me finish doing what I'm doing because you came in my life unexpected and I got to release some pressure or something like that. So you can already say, fuck you, you can go. I'm done. I ain't got time for this. Mm -mm. Nope. You don't want to hear it. You don't want to deal with it, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. But I have here, you're healing. I feel like you're at this point in your life to where you're done. You, you're, you're thinking differently about relationships, about love and life and what people do or don't do to you, how they respond and don't. You're done. You're, it's like you're breaking all kinds of ties, all kinds of bonds. You don't have to deal with that crap. So I feel like huh, you may not even think about this person anymore because they walked away from you. And it's like, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to let you lose. I'm not going to help you. You know, I'm not going to let you ruin me. I'm, I'm not going to let you waste my time. But I feel like they're coming back. They want to make the effort, okay, when they're ready, when they're ready to heal. They could have told you this, Virgo, that I'm just not ready, but, you know, you happened and you happened too quick and I wasn't ready for this. So I do feel like they're going to come back and really, really talk to you, really, really plead their case to you, you know. And when it when that happens, it's going to really change this energy about the two of you. 
I just think that, you know, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do. I, I just think that you should give him, a, him or her a chance. I mean, if you're not dating anybody else and, and you all kind of felt that energy between you two and, and they were honest with you up front early into the connection, maybe you all weren't solidified at that time. They didn't say you were my man or you didn't say I was your woman. They said, well, just give me time. You know, uh, let me do what I need to do. Let me be the man here. Let me be the woman. Let me fix some things in my life because I want to be whole for this connection because I think that this connection is going to be very important in my life. You are going to be important in my life, but I got to fix me first, okay? Because I know, you know, it's like, boom, let me fix me so we can be together and we can share the love. We can share the love while we, us two can become one beautiful energy, energy, energy blossom, blossom of energy. They want that. They want to be balanced. They want to be equally yoked with you, not anybody else. They may be a little gun shy. They've been hurt before, but I feel like that's where the two of you will connect the most because you're, these are two people can completely healed not going into the relationship with baggage if we do let's step aside until we until we find a way to heal that baggage that we're holding on to so we can love each other fully completely 100 percent being becoming equally yoked mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i can give you their heart because i think that you're also going to help them heal their heart like they're going to help heal yours see love Coming together. Sure, what you want to do, but I ain't interested in a relationship right now. But uh, take the lead. You know, maybe you just say I can do this by myself. I don't want a relationship. But they are also taking the lead and healing themselves because they want to come back. I told you I was coming back, boo boo, baby girl, baby boy. I told you I was coming back. So we can come together and finally be together fully, 100%. Fuck what they say. Fuck what they say. I'm in it to win it with you because you're going to be my motherfucking boo. Mm hmm. I ain't playing with you. You're the love of my life, and you're the love of mine, too. Get your ass over here. I told you I was coming back. Let's do this together. So give it, give it a chance. You know, like I said, when I do readings like this, especially personal readings, I always tell people, march to the beat of your, march to the beat of my drum, but listen to the beat of yours, okay? Listen to the beat of yours, because I feel like this energy is so beautiful right now for you. It may be a little hard, and like I said, don't wait for this person. Go on about your life and do your thing. They're coming back, all right? Because they want you. I love you. First, I found out that I love me. That was difficult for me to accept. And now that I love me, I can fall in love with you. We can get this party started. We're going to party party for the rest of our lives together as a couple. One unit instead of two. We were going to become one. Amazing. That's what they're thinking, Virgo. That's what they want to do. That's possibly what they are doing especially if this is a new relationship or a new connection. All right. I think that's all I got to say about that. I'll see you later. But you scared this person because you were so intense. But that's okay. They okay now. All right. Or they scared you. Like, damn, that's some deep shit, huh? All right.